Freddie Stewart and the step. And the Leicester fullback gets his first try in an England jersey. She scored once, can she do it? She's scoring over the line, it's burned for a double! Hello everyone and welcome to All Two's Inside Line, live from Twickenham, the Blue Room. England were victorious against South Africa, 27 to 26. Let's hear it, come on. Hey. Yes. Love a confetti cannon. Uh, I'm joined by Danny Kerr and Mo Hunt. Uh, Danny, what a victory for England. That's one that we can put down. Bank, put it away and move on. Exactly, huge game. We beat the world champions with three from three in the autumn. Uh, and, you know, a couple of injuries going into this game, but the boys stood up. Huge, a huge win against everything, against all the odds, and they did it, and they got the win, and they can move on to the Six Nations now. I really look forward to that. Well, Eddie said that he wanted the South African scalp. He got that. And like Danny said, we are three and O oh in these internationals. Uh, moving forward into the Six Nations, it brings nothing but confidence, surely. Oh, 100%, especially the nature in which they did it. They were under the pump. The South Africans coming back at them, penalty after penalty, just slotting it. And they just managed to have that grit, determination, hold on. And, and to get a win like that in that fashion in front of a home crowd was just something special. So fair play. It was. The last five minutes were really intense. And Danny, uh, both of you called it about the penalties. You know, you said if we can eradicate the penalties, then we've got a chance. But they only scored one try and everything else was a kick. Yeah, uh, we gave away a few. Andre Pollard was brilliant in the first half. Missed two, missed two for him. Fairly easy kicks, which he'll be disappointed with. But I'm just, I'm delighted for England. I'm delighted for the young halfbacks. Rafi Quirk coming on, I thought did a great job, got his try. But also my good mate Marcus Smith. Delighted to see him steady the ship, steer the team around, and guide the, the guide the boys to a good victory today. Yeah, he put in a good shift today, didn't he, Mo? Yeah, he really did. Just like that crunch point around 60 minutes where they were trying to throw everything in their own half and he just went, hold on a minute, let's go back to Ariel. Massive bomber, they knock it on and then that's the game turned on his head. So he was brilliant, he marshaled it. They came down his channel a few times and ran over him, but he just stood back up, puffed his chest up and he was fantastic. Great to see. We are going to hear from three uh, gentlemen who played this afternoon. We're going to hear from Marwa Tolji, Nick Dolly and Tom Curry. Uh, they're going to tell us or explain and describe what it feels like to beat South Africa 27-26. First of all, um, Marwa, congratulations. I mean, that was a true test match. Moments off the pitch. Give us your thoughts after the game. No, to be honest, I'm just happy to get the win. Um, the guy stuck in. As everyone saw, it was a pretty tough game out there and we literally won it in the last two minutes. So, you know, all in all, you know, the things to work on, things to improve, but I'm delighted for the team, delighted for all of us to get the win. You've been involved in some epic England game over the years, but, I mean, that's going to go down as an absolute classic winners in the last minute. It's literally nothing between the teams. Just how tough was it out there? It's a very experienced South African team. No, it was, it was really tough, you know. It was tough. They're big old boys. They hit hard. They're fairly accurate. Uh, you know, they punished us when we gave away some silly pens. But, you know, we got the dub. We got the dub you so we're really happy congratulations it's been it's been a really exciting time for england marrow um with some new guys coming in tell us about this guy nick dolly tell us all about him the hu human they call him don't they the, the human nick dolly he's a fantastic player <laughs> <laughs> the human lolly um he's a fantastic player he's a young guy that's coming to the squad added a load of energy added a load of quality his attitude his effort his skill has been right up there so you know we're very lucky to have the big man on his debut we're very lucky to have him uh, nick I mean, there's, there's been a raft of new young talent coming. You're one of them. What's it like looking from your perspective, a young player coming to this, this brilliant group of players? 
Um, no, it's really good. I think obviously you can see the youth coming through, but the boys like these guys who are senior players really make it easy for us to just come into the squad and, and fit in really well. And I think there's a real good buzz about the squad. Yeah. Um, I mean, Rafi scored a try out there today. I mean, he's one of the new Ralph. Freddie scored a try out there as well today. Uh, a man who's in the corner as well. But what does it say about these young players coming through? These aren't passengers or people making up the numbers. This is the genuine future of England rugby, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think the boys, when they get in here, they're hungry and they want to stay here for as long as possible. And, you know, you've got people with 50 caps, 30 odd caps, like we want to be like them, we want to be around for a long time. So, Brilliant Nick, congratulations on your first cap. Finally Tom, I mean again you've been involved in some really tough physical games, I mean does it, it, it literally doesn't get any tougher than that right does it? No absolutely and I think you know especially with South Africa it's the full 80, it's not just you know 20, 30 minutes, um, so yeah no credit to everyone I thought you know the guys who came on especially um, at the end really stuck at it, stuck at the game plan had the courage still to, to keep playing. Yeah. Um, that's all you can ask for. Uh, I mean, this, this campaign has shown a lot of resilience. You know, we had COVID up against it. You know, players getting injured. You know, Owen going out of the group as well. What does it say about the group as well? That on the pitch, uh, you were down there as well, but you've got the resilience and the fortitude to come back, believe in each other, that you can get the W. Yeah, first and foremost, I think we, we had clarity throughout the, the whole week. So, you know, credit to the coaches and, and the players for doing their, you know, due diligence. Due diligence? Good word, Tom. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Great word. Great word. <laughs> So yeah, I think you know that first and foremost, and then to actually go out and do it, you know, it's not individuals; it's a, it's a full team effort. And as I said, for 80 minutes, um, you got to stay on that and, and, and keep concise and, and, and at it. And I think uh, we, we, we did that, or roughly did that. It would be easy to see you as one of the more senior players, on which you are now one of the leaders in the group. But, but at 24, 24, you're 24, 33. When you look down at these young guys coming into the group, and you look at the older, got slightly older guys in the group as well, how excited are you collectively about what this team can achieve going into next year and maybe beyond? I think that's the exciting part, you know, this is only just a start and we have so much room for growth. You know, today wasn't perfect, but I think first and foremost, when you've got a group at the start of their journey, it's probably all about attitude. I think today's game was about that and it, and it showed. Um, so yeah, loads to learn, but I think, you know, the attitude's there, the exciting part is we've got loads of growth to come. And everyone will want to know as well tonight, is it a quiet few drinks and just kind of early to bed, ready to look ahead, or is it what's the plan? Not for this man. Not for this man. What's the plan tonight? <laughs> We're having it. We're having it. We're having it. <laughs> no, said we're having it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Cheers. Well played. That's it. Yes, come on. So basically, uh, what we can gather from that is that them lot are getting involved tonight. They're going to have a few beers, a bit of a disco, who knows uh, where the road's going to lead them. But a well-deserved, well-deserved victory today. Uh, Danny, let's talk about Tom Curry. He's only 23. He's only 23, but he feels like a real mature veteran of the squad. It's ridiculous. Uh, I remember when he first came in, sort of 2017, genuinely him and his brother are the two weirdest people I've ever met in my life. But... Also, he's one of the best rugby players I've ever seen. His, his, his tackling technique, his stuff over the ball, and also at 23 to be leading this team. He was vice-captain today. Then when Courtney went off, he was captain. England will be in safe hands if Tom Curry is going to be there to guide him through the next few years. Mo, well, his maturity uh, on the field really resonates, doesn't it? Because his physicality shines through as well. And yet, like I said, he's only 23. Yeah, absolutely. You can just see what it means to him as well. The passion's all over his face. The way he plays the game, he just throws his body around. But also, what I loved today was as soon as it was getting a bit nitty gritty, he was next to the referee, making sure that he was in his ear the whole time and just didn't shy away from that element, which is so good to see. And such a mature head on a young guy. My shoulders as far as the future of the squad goes down like uh, the guys said it, it, it the future looks bright We're, we've got nothing to panic about and uh, I think we can get really excited about the six nations I think we can yeah look another new cap today Nick Dolly as I mentioned earlier Rafi Quirk coming on at a really crucial time he took Ben Young's off with half an hour to go and trusted a young 22 year old scrum half to come on and do his thing um, and him and Marcus Smith that relationship hopefully will, will build and bond over the next few years but then you tie in the experience, lads, you do need some old people in there. So Joe Marler coming back into the squad today. Courtney Laws, absolutely keen. You've still got Jamie George and Owens foul experience to work on, but future's bright, future looks good for England. We've got a really good question, Mo, from Gus, who I think is in the audience. He says, was today's victory, uh, was it a victory for champagne rugby versus brute force rugby? 
I don't know if it was champagne. Obviously, the first half, England was so good in terms of getting the ball to the width, making sure that they were picking off opportunities when it was on to play wide. But they did tighten down in that middle bit of the game where they didn't really look to throw the ball around much. And sometimes it's just about finding a way to win. And the boys did that today. They really dug in. They backed each other up. And when they were under pressure, they just went back to what they know, which was going high aerially and playing in the right areas. So the maturity of the guys showed today was just fantastic. Yeah, and it was pretty intense in the stands as well. Uh, one from Luke, he says, uh, did our pack win it for us or was it South African mistakes? Uh, I think you've got to give a lot, lot of credit to our pack, uh, especially young boys, young boys stepping up, Blamar and, and, and the hooker. I'd only played a couple of games off the four, only four appearances off the bench, but to, to step up in the set piece against the best set piece side in, the, in world rugby. Um, I thought Courtney, uh, Courtney again was brilliant. Uh, Sam Underhill, Tom Curry again. Um, it's, it's exciting times for that pack. And they, they're all so young. They're all going to grow. They're going to get better and better. And you've just beaten the world champions. It's not a, not a bang average team we just beat. You just beat the best in the world. There was a lot of metal as well on the, on the field. A lot of argy-bargy. Do you think that's something that Eddie might have mentioned? Get under their skin, make them annoyed? I don't know if you can actually go out and plan to be like that, but for me, it's what you want to see because it means everything to pull the England shirt on. It really does, like, especially being out here in front of a home crowd. Like, you want to see people that it means that much to. And fair play to the boys. Like, they fronted up. They didn't shy away from it. And we were all stood in here saying that they need to throw the ball around and play a loose game. But actually, forwards-wise, they just really put their bodies on the line today. And that's what you want to see as a fan. Yeah, it was a great performance. And ladies and gentlemen, an England victory! Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. This has been Old Two's Inside Line. Live, Mo, Danny, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you uh, for watching. Remember, there's loads of content coming up on the England Rugby uh, website, England Rugby content page as well, social media. So make sure you tune in, log on, and have a butchers at that. But for now, from everyone here at Twickenham, we beat South Africa. Yeah. Good night, God bless. Yay!